Hey, I guess what we're playing now. I don't get it. Oh, from what software? From From. Oh, From? From From. Oh. They're wreaking havoc on the video game industry. Yeah, they are. So welcome to Dark Souls. <laughs> You know, we talk about it so often, it's such an influential game, you know, uh, uh, I figure, why don't we go ahead and play it? Sure. I mean, after all, I'm kind of rusty at it, and you haven't played it yet. I haven't. So, uh, this will be an experience. <laughs> I think it'll be fun if we just play for the internet, so everyone can laugh about how good, slash bad, slash funny, or slash unfunny we are. Let's get started! Start a new game here! Oh, we get to make our character. This is probably the hardest part of Dark Souls, I think. Oh, really? Yeah. Sex. We'll go female, because always. Class. What's the worst character? Deprived. An unclothed enigma, only armed with club and old plank shield. I think it might be better if we go with either, like... A pyromancer or a thief wanderer, you know... Uh, how about a cleric? Cleric? Wields a mace and casts healing miracles. Bad endurance, but... Meh. Mm. Hmm. Like, I like the knight. Alright, let's go High the HP, knight. solid armor, not easily toppled. Yeah, I, I, I kind of like that, but maybe I should go for a different <laughs> different build this time around. I did notice the, uh, the knight was slightly less intelligent than the rest of her parts. Let's see. That's a nice shield. Ooh, that is a cool shield. Go with a bandit. And the gift. We got, we, uh, you can choose a special gift that we get. We get the Goddess of His Blessing, which uh, fully restores HP and status once. A Black Fire Bomb, which is just a bomb. Twin Humanities, uh, I'll explain what humanities are later. Binoculars, which you can use as like a s scope, you'll get one later. Mm -hmm. Pendant, Trinket, no effect, but fond memories, comfort <laughs> travelers. Okay. Master Key opens any basic lock, initial equip for Thief. Tiny Beings Ring, a special travel ring, HP requires slowly, and a gift from a witch, an ancient ring with no obvious effect. Well. Uh, okay, answer me this. Okay. When do we get our gift? When we start. When we start. Yes, we start with this. Okay, um, why don't we start with... Uh, are there a lot of locked chests and locked doors in Dark Souls? No. Okay, so Master Key's out. If there's a locked door, it means that there's another way around and you gotta find some way else. Gotcha. How about... How about Tiny Being's Ring? Hmm... HP recovers slowly while equipped. Yeah. Yeah, I'll go with that. Why not? Physique! Tiny head. <laughs> Top heavy. <laughs> Big head. Uh, how about... Large lower body because she needs thighs for days. <laughs> Alright, face. Uh, what kind of face? So we got a Delta Farmer, a Store Royalty, Dragon Scholar, Thorland Cleric, a Katarina, Karen, Zainab Swamp, Far East Traveler. Here, how about we just go straight... Does it uh, go back around? What do you mean? That uh, as you're pressing down, does it go all the way back? I gotta press down to go back up. Okay, so why don't you just keep pressing down? We'll both close our eyes and then I'll say stop. Uh, okay. All right. Stop. Ding 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 ding. The classic Zena. No whammy. All right, cool. Uh, want to do the same thing with hair? Sure. Let's go. All right. And stop. Straight B! Hey! All right. Now for the color. Well, we'll just go with dark oh, purple. Okay. That's, yeah, it's just dark purple. Oh, yeah, I mean, duh. You can customize further, though, if you want. Oh, really? Yep. All right. Uh, you can just, like, you know, create similar faces. <laughs> are you just clicking random? Yep. The turns are quite pale, actually. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, my God. She has been turned into a witch. Well, she's gonna look even worse, so, uh... Alright. I guess we'll just customize that. Oh, we can customize the entire thing. Oh, good lord. Alright, uh, why don't we just, uh, fly through this? That's fine. <laughs> Looks good to me. Let's get started. Sure! Let, let's get... Well, let's I can't get tell. get started. Conf oh. I see. Gotta put in a name. Ah! Okay, well, uh, seeing as how... The way this series is going to work is that uh, this is going to start us off, and every time that we die, we're going to pass it off to one another. Yeah, that's how it's going to work. Yeah, sure, we'll go with that. So I guess we'll just be called, uh... Uh... Da, da, 
Huh? 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 Okay, all right. Nisk DJ. Love it. Nice. And I'll have you start off, seeing as how you know you need the introduction and all that. I do. I am a. Uh, I've only played a little bit of Bloodborne. That's it. Dark Souls and Bloodborne are two different beasts. Is this one harder? Hmm. Like in your personal opinion, having played all of them. How does Dark Souls one hold up? That's a cool looking monster. It's it's tough. It's challenging. It's it's like got the. I think it's got the best challenge. It's got a great balance of challenging difficulty and trial and error bullshit that makes you go, oh, okay, all right, okay, you got me. Because it's like tests you and all that. Dark Souls Two is just kind of, kind of bland, really. You know, there's some parts that are that are all right, but it was just kind of felt rough. Dark Souls Three, uh, I love it, but. I don't know, it's just not as... You know, maybe because, you know, we were all tired of Dark Souls by the time Dark Souls 3 came out, because we had Bloodborne. And Bloodborne's just fantastic. I think it's the best of the bunch. Looking back, I think. So that one demon thing we saw, do I get to fight that? Because <laughs> that's what kind of got me interested, is I that, love the designs of the monsters. You gotta fight that, too. I Nito, wanna fight that. first of the dead. Oh, I want to fight that. Look how cool that looks. He's the first guy who died and go, You know what? I think I'm going to be the lord of this. Uh, the Witch the of Izalith. Izalith? Oh, whatever. Gwyn, it probably sounds better in the sub. I think it's Izalith. Gwyn, the Lord of Sunlight. Ooh, I've heard of that one. And the furtive pygmy. So easily forgotten. Is that us? Yeah, it's you. <laughs> uh, nah, it's not actually. Nah, oh, darn it. You're just some guy. That's who you are. Fair enough. We're just like we're, we're not, you know, a strong lord or a monster or a you know, we're just some du some dude. Oh, I want to be a part of this. I want to fight that thing. All the monsters look so cool. Actually, this is going on. This is this already happened a while ago. Damn it! Oh, oh, the sea. Look how cool that guy looks. It's like a big war that pretty much destroyed the world. Okay. And how did the end of the world stop? It hasn't. It isn't. Oh, it's still going. It's about done. Whoa. We're going to have a choice at the end of this. You're not going to remember this by the time we get there, but you have a choice at the end if you want to just end the world now or if you want to <gasps> keep going for a little bit. Uh, for a little bit. Dude. That, age of fire. But that ended one age. Okay. The age, an age of darkness brought an age of fire, you know, of, of uh, brightness and prosperity and all that. But now the age of fire is starting to die out, and mm. now we're beginning an age of dark. And our goal, at the end, is to figure if we want to extend the age of fire for a little bit and keep everybody alive for a few more miserable hundred years, or if we just want to end things now and get things over with so that we can bring up on another bit of prosperity oh. and the next game. Oh. And also, for some reason, people can't die. What? If they die, they, well, when people die, they come back. But when they when they have this dark sign, they come back as hollow. And all they do is just wander around aimlessly in insanity, being unable to die. Oh. That's what an undead is. That's how you keep coming back, even after you get smashed into the ground over and over and over and over again. So basically, they just explained respawning enemies. And respawning yourself. <laughs> okay, okay, good. Everybody's undead, everybody's pissed off and angry, and everyone's just, ah, why is life? Well, then what's the point of this game if we can't die? Well, we got, we got to make it so that people don't die, or we got to make it so everybody dies. Oh. So, meanwhile, yes, in some abandoned is. asylum to the north... It's some dank-ass, nasty, musty dungeon smelling of death, puke, and shit and in, this land, in a deep, dark cell, <laughs> all the way in the back of the deepest, darkest I hallway. I always love the opening of Oblivion. Is us. Oh, good. Is that, not, is that us? No, that, that's our, uh, that's, that's actually our mate. He's like, hey, Jer Jerry, drinks after this? You got it, Nisk DJ. I mean, that's about all you can manage. This is your fate. 
Oh, well, we're locked in a jail cell forever. I guess that is our fate. Plague rats! With rats that don't die, either. Oh, great. That roaches that don't die. Nothing dies here. It just goes on endlessly in pain. That's such a cool concept. I like that idea. Ah! Yeah, that's us. We're undead. I mean, we look pretty great for being undead. Yeah, I've, I've seen worse. Definitely seen worse in my days. At least at least we're blue, a nice, uh, lovely shade of blue. Usually, yeah, yeah. Usually we're, a, we're a, like, like that, a grotesque shade of red, but mm -hmm. with a bit more meat on our bones. A soul. A soul. Hmm. So, the game begins. Cool. Good luck, asshole. <laughs> oh, it was the dungeon key. <laughs> you got a broken sword, and that's all. Okay. Can't do much. Oh, there's, there's the roll button. Are you trying to attack? Well, this tutorial will be good for you then. Read the stuff that's on the floor. On the floor? Oh. Okay. Got that. Hey, Jerry! Jerry, buddy! Jerry, my boy! Get us out of here! Oh, our one is attack! Yep. Got it. Kill that dude. Oh. Alright. Kill that. Don't, don't attack the wall. The wall did nothing to you. Watch out for your stamina there, your green bar. There we go. I did it. Good job. You won the game. Yay! <laughs> oh, there we go. Strong attack. And that takes up a lot of stamina. That takes up a lot of stamina, but it's good if you want to finish a combo, and it's good if you, like... If you're having a hard time hitting because of the walls in your way, you can swing a different way. Oh. The difference between, like, if you have, like, a, a spear, mm -hmm. your R1 may be, like, you know, a jab, and your R2 will be a big sweeping thing that takes out, like, three in front of you. Okay. Lock on, very helpful. If you're going to be using that a lot, mm -hmm. in fact, you'll be using that most of the time. I did it. In fact, your first instinct whenever you see an enemy in most games after this is going to be to click R3. Good. This is so I don't die. That's... Oh, the beloved pool. Is it beloved, though? To some people. Why? When, t when Twitch played Dark Souls, they spent a lot of time in this area. <laughs> they, they couldn't make I it I forgot up the Twitch played Dark Souls! Now nice the bonfire! Recover HP! Yay, bonfires! This is where you spawn back from. Right, right. Okay. And now, we're here. And, and uh, I think I'm gonna let you get through this yourself. Okay. Like, uh, I, I can do this in my sleep, blindfolded backwards, if I wanted to. But, I'll have you take care of all this, and if you die, I'll just leave you to it. It's when we get out of the asylum that we'll, uh, we'll start the switch rule. How's that? Alright, so out of the asylum, we switch. Yes. This is, this is supposed to be your tutorial. Alright. If I can't, if I can't get past the tutorial, then what is the series? Yes. Ooh. I love the opening door. That's so cool. Alright. You. Good luck, oh, asshole. Oh, come on! Alright. Alright. So this is the fun part of the series where I just sit back and watch the magic happen. <clears throat> that is such a cool looking monster. I hope it doesn't kill me. Ah! That oh, still got me. Alright. Mm. I managed to get a few hits on it. Look at that! Look at that! Managed to get some hits! Yep, this is Dark Souls, man. It's supposed to be really hard, don't you remember? <laughs> Yeah, they give you a broken sword, and... Is there a broken sword run in this game? Because I know Dark Souls has been played every single which way there's imaginable. A, what better? There's a bare-handed run. Are you kidding? Nope. They killed every boss with bare hands, and I died already. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's supposed to happen, I assume. Yes. Okay. Don't feel bad for those 40 souls. You will get plenty more, my friend. Okay. I didn't even pay attention to how many souls I picked up. That's your souls in the bottom right, by the way. Okay. <laughs> Trying to take some advice from the way you started Let's Plays. Like, oh, I gotta explain the, the mechanics. Well, people, right. people well, who watch well. my stuff know that, know how games work. <laughs> they can figure this shit out. Hell, most of my fans have probably played this game already. Uh, I, I would assume and if, so, yeah. and if they happened, this is Dark Souls! Hashtag death! <laughs> Hashtag always death. I... I swear, we tried Demon Souls one time, just like back and forthing it. I I couldn't really get into it as much. But this is exactly how Demon Souls start started. And for some reason, I play this a bit better. I think it's because the mechanics were just refined a little bit more. Because 
Because the way they do everything is a bit better, I think. Oh. So, going in the middle triggers the guy. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, the and this green stuff here is how you get your souls back. Oh! Hit X to get them back. There you go. You recover. You recover. When you die, that goes away and is replaced with another black stain. Oh, it's locked. Right. Red stain with a green sprite on it, I guess. It's a black stain on your gaming record for dying, though. Oh, it does? Oh, for game. For the record in the game. For for me, my record on you. Oh. It's like died at a silent demon. What? Check. <laughs> You should just make a checklist of every boss and just say, did Niskel die to this one? Yes or no? Or yes or yes? All right. Ooh, that was that was a big. That hit. really hurt. Yeah. There we go. So this is just an assumption. You can chime in at any point when you know I'm not going to get anywhere. Oh hey, you figured it out! Yay! I did it. Were there just pots blocking my way? It was supposed to hide the fact that there's a door over here. It's like, you don't have to take on that guy with the broken hills, like, because Dark Souls doesn't assume that much of you. Gotcha. It's like, take off this big fat guy with the broken sword! You can do it, asshole! <laughs> <You did. laughs> no shield, no health, no nothing! You got it! Go for it! You guess, yep. What the... Alright. Well, we'll have an archer at the end of a hallway. Alright. Okay, so, uh, equipment. Yes. Start. Uh, start. Game does not pause when you're when you're uh, when you're when you hit start. Okay, there we go. So now you got broken sword in one hand, shield in the other. You hit L one to use your shield. Oh, uh, there we go. Make sure that menu's closed. Yeah, I just realized that's probably gonna get me killed more often than not. You get used to it. What's up? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, oh, you run it. You figured it you're out. You run it. Oh god. Oh god. Oh no. And your battle axe. Hey! You swap that piece of shit out right now. Uh, yeah, most definitely. There we go, yeah, battle not, axe. Now 95 I'm ready. attack. Yeah, now, that's, now, that's now what I'm, I'm looking ready. at. You are. Oh, shit. There we go. You are ready. I, I don't think I'm really ready. Now oh, I can talk. Oh, okay. So you can hold multiple weapons, but that also affects your weight. <gasps> oh! What's, and things you pick up don't count as weight. The only things you equip count oh, as weight. So much better. So much better. Forgot oh. to lock on, dude. I can't do the spin thing. The spin thing? <laughs> that makes me... You know how in games where you could just go stationary and spin? Oh, it, you can do it in Okami. Ah. Where you stay in one spot and you just spin around really, really fast. There you oh, go. are we going back to a silent demon? Uh, not yet. Oh. It's like an actual level. Yep. This is the tutorial level that gets you started on the game. Oh, hey, that's the bonfire down there. That is a bonfire down there. All right, well, Wouldn't drop down yet, though. Yep, there's stuff in here. I assume. Oh. We'll, we'll, we'll come back and get that later. Okay. Um... Because uh, we will be coming back to this place. Okay, good. Back to the asylum, or just back to this small area? Anyway, you need to keep going. All right, all right. Because uh, I want to just keep, your up, keep up your intrigue just a little bit. I'm intrigued. Oh, watch out, by the way. Damn it! <sighs> okay. Oh. <gasps> oh! You. You're no hollow. Thank goodness. I mean, I'm pretty I'm ugly, but... I'm afraid. I'll die soon. To be undead then is one thing. To be hollow is another. I wish to ask something of you. Yes. To, to be hollow is where you lose all of your humanity, and instead of, you know, having, you know, the soul and, you know, what makes a human a human, you instead just, you know... Wander around like a like a crazed demon, like everyone else is in this place. So, what did you do? Yes. Regrettably, I have failed. It's like saying, "Will you listen to me? Will you?" Oh uh, yeah. You sure, I'll place. listen. It's not like I have anything better family. to do. Thou who art undead art chosen. In thine exodus from the undead asylum, maketh pilgrimage to the land of ancient lords. When thou ringeth the bell of awakening, the fate. Of the undead, thou shalt know. Ooh. So we got a goal. We got to get out of here. We head south. Oh. Ring the bell. Ring a bell. Nothing. Ring a bell, ding a lang. Here, That'll be a good thing, it. I guess. And everybody lives. I, sure. Go ahead. Yeah. Hey, Anestis Flask. I know what those do. The infamous Eskis Flask. The power of the sun, sunny D. Oh, <laughs> oh you're also going to need this, too. <gasps> Ooh. A key. Now I must bid farewell. 
I would hate to harm you after death. Press square or X to drink your S tus. Oh, there you go. Oh, I just realized my health doesn't come back. I guess I didn't pay attention. Oh, hey, look at that. So I shouldn't go back listen, up there, right? Get, no, no, you, you can go back up there. That was only one. Okay. One stop. Oh. What happened? Killed himself. No! And you got his souls. Oh. I did! There's another 20 more on top of that guy you just oh. killed. Yeah, how about that shit, huh? No! Alright. Alternatively, you can kill him and get the same stuff. Oh, really? So you've done that before? That's you... what them speedrunners do. Oh. Okay, I would I would uh, head down the uh, stairs that's there a, That's quick. what I was thinking. Yeah, head down. Well done. All right. And there you go. Trip back to the bonfire. I did it. Yeah. There we go. All my health is back. And that uh, also refills your Estus flask only to a certain point, though. Oh. How many can I hold it at one time? Right now, five. Five. I assume as in you will, up. as in every bonfire will only give Whoa! you five. Oh yeah, enemies respond when you do the bonfire. Damn so it! I should have mentioned that. Uh huh. The game's gonna tell me a lot of things. Again, it's been a it's been in quite a few years since I played this. It's been it's been a few years and three Souls games since you know. Let's see, left stick R one. Uh, so no, it's barehanded. You hit right Just... on the D pad. Left stick. I know I did. Uh, left stick plus R1 equals kick. Plus R2 equals jump attack at the same time. Yep. Yep. Gotcha. You gotta get your battle axe out. Okay. It revives enemies. Ooh, look at this place. This looks great. Yep. Alright. Oh, hi. Alright. No time to look around, son. You got things to fight. Thing to fight. <laughs> Hello. Stop. I'm always looking around everywhere, like always looking at my stamina. Just looking at other things. This is a this is a game to do it too. All right, so just sneak up behind him. Oh, actually, no. You might want to leave. He's a tough guy. Okay. Oh no! Crap! Did that cancel my Estus using? And you waste it. Yeah, you did it. Good job. Oh, I did. There we go. Oh, what is that? What is that? Hmm? What? That. What's what? Oh, that's locked. I have to come back to get that. What is going to happen to me? What happens when I come in here? So when you go off a ledge, while you're still falling, hit R1, and then you do a plunging attack. <gasps> oh, no! Now do it! Fuck! Oh, no! Well, that could have gone better. That could have gone better. Oh, right, dodging. Don't forget your shield! I do need to do that. Where's your shield, man? I I'm... I'm focusing right now on the on the big guy. You can hold your shield up, though! Protect yourself! To do uh, from, like, dust from cloud? This! Oh, he didn't even hit me anyway! Well, good. Oh, there he hit me. You had to jinx it, didn't you? <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it! Alright! Alright! That took a lot of my stamina, by the way. Yeah, you gotta back up. Uh -oh. Oh! 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 You almost got him, though. You almost right. got him. Alright, alright. I got you! Oh! Ooh. You should have you dodged roll that one. Yeah, I should have. I, I'm aware. We're gonna need a bigger, We're gonna need a bigger uh -oh. shield, really. Uh oh! Up, oh, up, big one! Oh, oh, that's the dodge button. Okay, got it. There you go. I, I'm there. I'm there. Up, <laughs> Sunny D, Sunny D. Ah, oh! Sunny D me. Okay. And oh, oh, no, oh no, no, no! Whoa! Oh well, it's a good thing he has terrible eyesight. All right, come here, buddy. I got you. You got it. You got it, man. Woo! That's it. That's it. All right, you have killed your yes! first Dark Souls boss. Technically, you'd already died to him once, so it doesn't count as nah, a perfect shut up. defeat. Shut up! I did it. I beat Asylum Demon. I got humanity. <laughs> humanity makes you human. Oh, or not. well, that makes too much sense. I'll explain that in a little bit. Okay. Let's see here. Ooh. 
What do you have to say? Look out! Oh, okay. No, you're good. There's not. There's not nothing really left up here. Mm. Safe area. Calm down. Relax. Ah, <sighs> I feel great. I beat a Dark Souls boss. How do you feel? Take that, Father Gascoin. <laughs> <laughs> the only boss I beat in Bloodborne. Oh, we got a nice. That was that was more like half a cleric beast. Oh, so is that good or bad? Only it depends on how you look at it. Okay. Does it mean the game gets harder? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <gasps> That's a big crow. He's friendly, believe it or not. He didn't look friendly. We can even trade with him. Her. I can't believe you missed her nest. To the land of the ancient lords. Well, I mean, am I gonna explore every nook and cranny? Well, if you want to find everything, Lord sure. Dran. Okay, fine. So welcome to Lord Dran. Lord Dran. Lord... Oh, there we are. Oh, yeah, this is the big castle. The big, gigantic castle where most of the game takes place. Good. One of the things I love about Dark Souls is that the map, it's uh, all one thing, pretty much. And mm -hmm. it just goes deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper, and it's, oh, it's so much fun. I did it. Thank you.